Hey guys, welcome to another video for Vio and Bhima that is the Poco X3 Pro and this device today has received MIUI 12.5.4 Global not for the Indian device that is Bhima but for the global device that is Vio I believe it's the rest of the world now 12.5 as a whole has been a very very substantial update they are promising a lot of things that we are fixing bugs we've gone from 12.5.1 to 12.5.8 now on the Note 10 Pro Max. We don't have this device, but in a week's time, maybe we'll add it to the channel. I don't really know. So 12.5.4 for the Poco X3 Pro, initial impressions with benchmarks. Let's get going. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so right off the bat, what do we have here? 12.5.4. So if you go to About Phone, you will notice that it is 12.5.4 stable. And if you go to what's new, well, fortunately, unfortunately, you are going to be a little disappointed. Let's disable the dark mode. Right. So 12.5.4 updated Android security patch to August 2021 and increased system security. Now, there is something important that I want to address over here. Most of the times when Xiaomi says that they have updated the security patch and increased system security in these updates, they've not only updated the security patch, patch but they are making a lot of under the hood changes because i'll tell you this in the last update you saw me criticizing xiaomi really really a lot in the 12.5.3 video because it was lagging everywhere okay and that was a fast boot flash now this right here is a recovery flash so i'm not saying one of the two is better or something but yes 12.5.4 for me since the last i don't know six to seven hours has been a great experience as far as the ui smoothness is concerned to that extent that you know the 60 hertz mode felt really really well now it remains to be seen how well this will game so you know that maybe is a different video altogether but if you talk about the ui smoothness it's there it's right there now one important factor for me always has been google feed and they are getting there trust me it it almost feels like this is the enhanced edition of 12.5.4 for the poco x3 pro it is really really good now at least in one area that is the ui smoothness they are making a lot of difference now remember it is very significant that the ui smoothness and stutters improve in miui for this device because the custom roms are amazing but when it comes to gaming performance of custom roms let's face it for the poco x3 pro it's still not there it's almost at the level of miui if not better so you have the stock experience the stock camera the stock applications and stuff the way it is designed to work with this particular hardware and just look at the fluidity of this particular update i am really really impressed with what xiaomi have done also if you have a look over here yeah that one stutter that you see after going to the google feed is is something they can definitely get rid of with some more optimization but if we talk about the launcher settings over here you have your good old Poco Launcher 2.20.1.37, right? And apart from this, you have all the other options that were always there, double tap to lock screen and stuff. So I don't see anything new over there, right? I don't even see the recents. Yeah, the new type of recents are not there. Let's talk about the security application over here. The security app version is 5.4.0. Now we did run benchmarks with game turbo enabled. So let's open CPU throttle test for that matter. You see the game turbo notification here. So let's see here. Yeah, you don't really have the new game turbo yet, but things are getting added. As I said, they keep making differences over here. So as you can see, you have the timer option and very soon I think this will get updated to game turbo 4.0 or something. And it has been working just fine. I did test the gaming uh, voice changer as well. It was working fine for me in a BGMI match or PUBG for that matter. So, you know, before we actually get into the benchmark numbers, let's also go ahead and have a look at the camera application version over here, version 4.3. 
So if you actually go ahead and open the camera application, you don't really have any additional features, but the features that are there, they're working just fine. And the good thing here is, if you open the Google dialer, right now this is one more area now when you flash these many roms on a device especially miui roms you come to know which are the pain areas and that is what is happening with me for me google feed is a pain area for miui on the poco x3 pro and the dialer the google dialer so the smoothness is next level when it comes to opening the keypad if you are on any of the older versions of miui like 12.5.1 12.5.2 even 12.0.6 and you have the google dialer just close all the applications like this, open the Google dialer and tap on the keypad. It will stutter for half a second. It will definitely stutter and then it will open up. So they seem to have, you know, figured that out and the icon animations are pretty good as well. Now I'm not saying that they have fixed it. I don't know in which generation they are going to do that because the K20 Pro right here has it. The Mi 11X or Poco F3 right here has it. So. And we've seen that custom ROMs can make that work on Poco X3 Pro as well. But Poco is Poco and they just don't want to fix something this basic. Like it, it really is disappointing. There are no app icon animations at all. And it just makes the whole UI feel like half baked. Now, not to drag this video too, too long, but let me tell you this, the charging, the battery backup has been pretty decent and I'm planning to do a complete review and a gaming review of this particular update because I have high hopes. Now, let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers over here. All right, so CPU throttle test. Slight disappointment, last time I think we were at 68%. We have improved a little bit because we have now throttled to 75%. Now remember, most of the custom ROMs over there score above 90%. So Xiaomi still has a lot of work to do or Poco still has a lot of work to do. Performance average numbers were 169,744 GIPS. Now from a Snapdra Snapdragon 860 point of view, these are okay numbers, They're nothing out of the ordinary. Now let's go ahead and have a look at Geekbench for that matter. Single core, multi-core, what is the score of this particular update? Let's go to history over here. 780 and 2699. So once again, these are good numbers for this particular device the single core score looks very very strong so does the multi-core score now let's have a look at antutu benchmark all right 566389 now as i've said it in the previous videos as well poco x3 pro with the snapdragon 860 scores between 560 and 570 on antutu most of the time so this is a pretty pretty decent and strong consistency that they are maintaining at least in the benchmarks now Something that I don't like, as you saw, the moment I was trying to minimize this, there was a stutter there. Okay, I think there is. So, you know, if you're not going to bake the app icon animations completely, it will look like a stutter. That is my gripe with Poco. I don't know why they are not doing it. I really don't think it can be such a big deal to fix something that basic, something that single individuals like you and me with some basic coding language are fixing. Let me know in the comment section, do you have any hopes from this update or will you, do you think will POCO X3 Pro get the enhanced edition or not? Until the next one, this is Kalash, signing off at PhoneOps, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.